I wanted to enter into my keynote speech with, well, that is a little bit, let's say, why now? Um, what are we currently seeing? Yeah? So we are seeing volume of container traffic still growing. That's not a, that's a low brainer. The world population still grows and wealth, wealth also grows. But we see inter unexpected interruptions. These unexpected interruptions we've seen the last five years. Ivo said it as well, with all kind of, I don't know, events with uh, pandemics and blockades. And, uh, and, and now we see that what you call the fragmentation because of the Red Sea crisis, who shows us a little bit what could happen. It is a little bit the case that the Germans currently learn what could happen when you make you much too independent from only one source with gas. Yeah? So that, that gives a glimpse into the future. And the glimpse into the future is, well, it would come to a reorientation of the global flow of goods and it, it becomes a little bit more unstable as it has been extremely stable within the last 30 years where we had always completely rely on exactly that day when that trip was in Hamburg or in Rotterdam, wherever, and that we call, let's say, uh, was for, 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 for the industry a perfect buffer, where we no longer can rely on. And ports have to prepare to that. Shipping lines, obviously, and that was my learning, have the big luck that they, by chance, were prepared for this because they had an overcapacity. But in many ports, there is no longer an overcapacity because many ports are running out of land. And that is exactly there where I want to go with my, with my speech today. And the question is, stacking higher and higher produces you the problem with the shuffle moves. And that is exactly why DP World approached the German company SMS. And the SMS came to find somebody utilizing the knowledge they had with high base storing of very heavy goods. In this case, SMS is a company who did that for 40 years or 35 years with steel coils weighing 40 tons. And with an high base store, you can do more than 300, 3,000 TU per hectare. And if it's an empty one, 5,200. And how do we do that? We do this, we're stacking the container one on each other. And that's 11 high. So it is seven, eight, nine, that's 11 high. And each container is in direct access. That is, well, high base storage is not a miracle. We see high base storage systems for pallets, for cars, for all kinds of good in the industry, retailer industry, since the last 50 years. The, 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 the thing is, what you store is in direct access. And you discouple yourself from, when you stack higher, making your uh, productivity bad. That's a little bit exactly the point, what is the idea behind. And then, of course, the decision was taken, we form a joint venture and try to really do that with many others before us already tried to develop it and make it major. And both companies, SMS Group has 3 billion um, turnover and uh, is a big company and DP World is also a big company, have a name to lose. And it was very clear from the very beginning, we need a, not only a showcase, we need an internal proof that it works, that we don't make mistakes and that what we do is reliable. And that is currently the proof of concept plant here in Dubai, Terminal 4. And we put it into operation with, uh, I think the design was in 2019 and 20, we brought equipment in and since end of 20, uh, it is an operation and showed it at the expo and within the last years until today we made about 300,000 moves and we know exactly where the problems could have been and we solved them and then last year i think a little bit more than last year we decided to market it and go for the market so that is a little bit the background and now before we enter into the discussion later let me show you a little bit what we are talking about on how it works so that when we have later the, dis the discussion, we have a little bit material. Of course, that what is in Jabal Ali Terminal 4 is, we call it phase one. It, it, the plan is to roll it out. The question is why, but the plan is to roll it out. Meanwhile, we did other works. Here's a, um, a let's say, a design for a DP World Terminal in Asia, where it's a little bit other configuration. And you must learn Boxbay is not a solution, it's a configuration toolbox. 
you can configure it in different possibilities for diff all kinds of ground transportation equipment. 